So for today, we're gonna to be detailing a Volkswagen TDI Golf, which this is actually a subscriber's car. It is a mom of two kids, and they have their pets in the car, and they use this as their family hauler all the time. As you can tell, it is filled with stuff, and the owner said that they've never actually cleaned the inside since they purchased it, which, as you can see, it's very, very, seems very likely. Um, I asked them not to remove any of the trash from the vehicle, at, leave it as its current state, which always makes for a good detail for you guys to see. But what we're going to do is we're going to get this thing cleaned up on the inside and outside and get this thing returned back to a subscriber of this channel. So if you guys haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Make sure to turn on those notifications so you don't miss out on any new episodes on this channel. And let's go ahead and get all this trash, all of the interior removed, and this detail started. So as I'm removing the interior, removing all the trash, I did see a few ants throughout the interior, but I never expected to see this. All right, we're gonna pause that right there. Um, ants is like my biggest phobia. If you guys have seen cockroaches, maggots, all this crap, my species, all that stuff on this channel, the one thing that I can't do is ants. I go, go it makes my skin crawl like I'm like feeling like I'm itching all over right now. Okay, we're gonna scrap pulling out the center console, but the good news is if I run an ozone machine in here, ozone literally kills everything because it starves it of oxygen. One thing that I saw a lot in the comments in the last couple videos is how do I remember where everything goes inside the vehicle once I remove it, when it goes to put them back together. Um, it's kind of almost a photographic memory for that matter, but I've been doing this for so long of taking things apart, putting them back together for cars. They're all really similar in a lot of ways, shape, or forms. I will say that the center console on this Volkswagen was a pain in the butt and it was not removed for that reason. I just physically couldn't pull it out and I didn't have the time to research how to do it on YouTube or find a tutorial to remove it. So I kind of skipped that and just focused on getting back to the cleaning portion of the video. But if you guys are ever looking to pull your seats, ever looking to do something like that, go online. YouTube's a great resource so that way you guys can take advantage of, you know, pull in one of those components if you have to get a deep clean done.
Now, not only is the transformation of before and after vacuuming insane, but this is a clip of my vacuum and what was inside of it after just vacuuming the floors. It was literally soaking wet with water, and this is the amount of water that just pulled out by removing all that dirt and grime from the surface. So um, we have a few different surprises in this vehicle that are definitely misleading just from an outward appearance looking in. Um, it definitely has some secrets underneath it. In the last video, I used the dual action polisher on the carpets as well, and I used them on the floor mats on this one in particular. I flipped this floor mat over and just run it, ran the uh, polisher just to see what dirt would come out. And this is how much just came out of the surface of this thing, which I don't think the extractor would have ever pulled. And this step alone saves you a ton of time when it comes to actually extracting your carpets and removing a lot of that dirt that's embedded in that carpet fiber. Like it's something in the air at that time Don't know why you always dream of you when spring comes It's like the heat on my skin takes me back to the time Met you on a Friday Halfway out at the door of the club Playing so long the weekends Stayed in bed till Wednesday
Now for all these interior panels, we're utilizing our air gun to blow out any of that hay and dirt and grime that's on the surface. And then we're going to be using the Mint Shine All Purpose Cleaner and Fox Clean detailing brushes to get these panels looking like new again. And if you guys are looking for any of those products, head over to Fox Clean after this video. And also they are all linked in the description box below for you guys to check out. Um, right now I'm running free shipping on everything. And while supplies last before pre-orders open back up because... You guys have been buying things like crazy, like I mentioned in the last video. Not only are you buying the all-purpose cleaner in you know multiple different units, but I'm selling like six drying towels at a time. So I don't know who's buying them, but when somebody bought six, then another person bought eight, and another person bought four, I know you guys love them. They work amazingly well for the exterior of the car, which at the end of this video, I do detail the outside of this. So if you're looking for that, we'll be getting to the outside soon enough. Now when it comes to the exterior of the vehicle, you know, the first initial rinse is to get any loose dirt that's on the surface or anything that's inside those different gaps and different uh, seams of the vehicle, especially here with this Volkswagen rear uh, trunk release. I was surprised how much dirt was in here. Just spraying it down initially will take care of a lot of dirt. And then we're gonna jump into the foam cannon, which will put that sudsy solution onto the surface and helps let that dirt soak in and slowly rinse off before we get to the wash mitt phase. So it's kind of a, a three-step process just to get the soap on the vehicle. Um, but it seems to be the most efficient way and also the most effective way at removing dirt and minimizing any scratching that might take place.
Now with the car completely washed on the outside, we're gonna be spraying iron remover. And on a white car, iron remover is one of the best and easiest ways to see how much iron and contaminants is still on the surface. So once we've sprayed the entire vehicle with iron remover, this is the result of how much iron is leaching off the surface of the paint. And that's what that purple color signifies. Now that we've removed all the iron, washed the car, we're going to be using our clay bar, which is going to remove any further contaminants from the surface with this clay. And as you can see, the clay bar gets dirty quickly on these panels. And this allows us to have a completely contaminant-free surface without the polishing phase before we do our spray-on ceramic coating. And for that, we're using the Mint Shine Galactic Ceramic Spray, which you guys will hear see here shortly. I need you guys to click this video on screen to go watch next. It is the craziest pet hair filled vehicle I have ever done. It was a 16 year old's first car and they asked me to go on site to their house to go detail it for them as a gift. So I made sure I pulled out all the stops, pulled out the carpet, everything to make this thing look like new. So go watch it now and I hope you guys have a great weekend. See you guys next time.